Hey there, I'm Alex Roy, your trusted realtor in Eastside, Portland. It's July 2024, so it's time for our mid-year forecast. Let's start by talking about how real estate activity follows a yearly trend. Now, the sales activity intensity ramps up two notches after the first of the year, and then cools down one notch in pre-summer and another notch in summer. What is sales activity intensity? Well, that's our metric for determining how fast homes are selling. We uh, base that on the percentage of homes that go under contract in the first 30 days of their listing. And that's important because homes that are listed have their best chance of being purchased in their first 30 days on mar market. So it's an important metric to watch. So how does this affect home prices? Well, historically, we see prices surge during the first three months of the year, but then moderate in that pre-summer and summer period when uh, inventory starts to build because buyer activity is cooling and more homes are coming onto the market. But sales activity intensity has remained high during this time due to lower price and mid prices homes uh, continuing to be in demand and having low inventory. So what's next? Well, we've got four months uh, until the winter market from July to October. And during that time, we can expect to see a good number of resale listings coming onto the market in a slightly tampered uh, sales activity intensity environment, a little bit lower. And that's welcome news to a lot of buyers, though you're still gonna see a surge in sale activity intensity in the lower price and mid-range home market. Over the winter then, from November to February, substantially fewer homes are going to be coming onto the market, and we call this the winter cleanup time until we reach March of next year, and then the cycle starts again. So what about mortgage rates? Well, at mid-year, we're still looking at approximately 7% mortgage interest rates. But when they do drop to 6%, we can expect to see 5 to 10% more buyer activity. And this is going to be uh, especially pronounced in the low to mid price homes that dominate like 80% of the sales in any given market. So who's moving in this market? Well, it's people with either life events or life choices. When it comes to the life events, those that have a change in job or household formation, those are the big driving factors for them. But with life choices, it's folks that have a lot of equity in their home and can cash out that equity to move uh, to be closer to family or just a different lifestyle or be in a different environment. But there's a big portion of people who are not moving, and those are people that would move otherwise within the local market, but don't because they currently have a really low interest rate, and any move that isn't a necessity from uh, a life event would move mean that they're moving into a higher interest rate. And that's really locking up the system because they would otherwise be the buyers that somebody uh that wants to sell their house is looking for. So with everybody sitting on that lower interest rate and not wanting to move into a higher interest rate, that's locking up our market. And so that in turn is creating low inventory, which is also driving our strong sales activity, particularly in the low to mid price homes. But there's some important things to remember. It is okay to buy and sell within the same market timing, especially if you do have life events that make it make sense to make that move. And even if you don't have those life events right now, and it doesn't make sense for you to move at this time, it's still a great time to call me up and have that conversation about your real estate goals and to plan for the future. Strategize. Don't leave it until a month before you need to sell. Make the plans now because there are is a lot of insight and wisdom that I want to pass on to you about listing preparation and positioning your home, starting to work on positioning your home now for the future sale. So as always, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email, a text anytime. If you have real estate questions, if you want to start monitoring an area, a market for homes, start getting your sense of market data. Don't leave it to what you see on Zillow and Redfin and that. Let me set you up with a really nice custom RMLS search so you can keep total specific tabs on a neighborhood of interest. That's just one of many things I can do for you. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, working hard for your success.